Hola estudiantes, en este video vamos a aprender cómo conjugar los verbos irregulares del pretérito. Ir, ser, hacer, dar y ver. Toda la información es de Avancemos 2, Unidad 1, Lección 2, Página 70. You'll notice at the bottom here I have a little image that says Spock verbs. This is a tool that we'll refer to later in the video as a way to remember how dar and ver have a connection, ir and ser have a connection, and hacer is kind of like the thumb and out on its own. Las metas. Our goal for this video is to learn how to form the preterite of ir, ser, hacer, ver, and dar, and then use these to talk about things that we did in the past. Conexiones al inglés. To connect this with English, we know that verbs that are regular in the past tense often end in ed, like I walked to school. Irregular verbs, however, have a different past tense form. So for example, I can't say I goad to the reception desk. I say, I would say I went to the reception desk. In Espanol, this would be using the verb ir. Now, again, we have a totally different set of endings than we looked at on our previous video, and um, this one will be a completely different thing. So this one I'll teach you in this video. So I would say fui a la recepción. It doesn't follow the normal drop the ending and add your new ending pattern. So again, we can't say I goed. We would say I went. Similar to that concept, in Espanol, we have el pretérito irregular. In this video, we're going to focus on five irregular verbs that have some connections. So this is not the only video that we'll cover on preterite, but it's more of an introduction to the various irregular categories within the preterite tense. So the verbs ir, ser, hacer, ver, and dar are all irregular in the preterite, and they are formed without our regular preterite endings from the previous video. So again, we cannot use our regular endings. So how do we do this? Los verbos gemelos, or twin verbs. What's nice about ir and ser is they're actually going to conjugate identically. So we do have five verbs here, but really we're only going to have four uh, of these charts that you'll need to know. So notice I have yo fui, tu fuiste, el, ella, usted fue. Nosotros, nosotras, on the plural side, fuimos, vosotros, vosotras, fuisteis, ellos, ellas, ustedes, fueron. So again, cuidado, careful, remember our Spanish vowels, A, E, I, O, U. On the yo form, I have yo fui with an I, versus el, ella, usted is fue. Remember that Spanish E sounds more like an A sound. Excelente. Again, our twin verbs, ir and ser, are going to conjugate exactly the same, hence twin verbs. So we're going to have to be very careful to use context clues in sentences to determine whether we're using the verb ir or ser. Por ejemplo, fuimos al parque de diversiones. We went to the amusement park. In this one, since I'm saying al parque, I know I'm saying we went. I'm using the verb ir here. Versus, fue un día muy divertido. Notice here I'm using an adjective to describe how something was. So we went to the amusement park. It was fun. So here I'm using the verb ser in el pretérito. Hacer. Hacer is another one of these irregular stem changers, so this is the verb to make or to do that we learned last year in level one in the present tense. Notice here instead of H-A-C, my normal stem, the majority of these are going to be H-I-C with the exception of my el ea usted form where you see a small spelling change. So in the yo form I have yo hice, tu hiciste, el ea usted hizo, Cuidado aquí, I have a little note at the bottom. In the el, ea, usted form of hacer in the preterite tense, notice that the C is going to change the stem and it will become a Z right before we have our O. So this just is, has to do with the sound between those two vowels. If I didn't have that, I'd have eco, but we want to maintain that s sound. So I'm going to say, I'm going to change that C to a Z to make it el iso. On the plural side, I have nosotros, nosotras, hicimos, vosotros, vosotras, hicisteis, ellos, ellas, ustedes, hicieron. So again, these stems, I call this an I verb because it changes to H-A-C to H-I-C. Okay, unos ejemplos con el verbo hacer. ¿Qué hizo usted ayer? What did you do yesterday? Again, remember, this one is our uh, spell changer. 
to remain um, maintain that s sound. So k iso. Um, I did my homework, so yo hice la tarea. Finalmente, we have our last two verbs that we'll focus on in this video, dar y ver. So, these are known as our rhymers. So, ver and dar are actually going to follow the regular er, ir past tense endings that we learned in the previous video, even though one is an er, one is an ar. Um, but actually, we don't have to worry about any accent marks. Que suerte! So notice here I have these conjugated out. I have vi, viste, vio, vimos, vistais, vieron. Again, they rhyme, same exact endings. I'm going to substitute ver, started with a V, since we're doing dar. These will all start with the letter D. D, diste, dio, dimos, distais, dieron. So again, regardless of their endings here, ar, er, they're actually going to follow those same er, ir, preterite, regular tense endings but we don't need to worry about those accents. Para terminar, tenemos unos ejemplos con veridar. Vimos mucho arte interesante en el museo. We saw lots of interesting art at the art museum. Mi amigo me dio un regalo. My friend gave to me, like we talked about last chapter, our uh, indirect object pronouns. So my friend gave me a gift. Dio en el preterito. Excelente. So, those are our five irregular preterite verbs. Again, I mentioned at the very beginning, we call these Spock verbs. As you can see, we have Spock here with ir and ser together because those are our twin verbs. Fui, fuiste, fue. Fuimos, fuisteis, fueron. So again, those conjugate identically. Dar and ver, those are our rhymers. They sound similar. So I have di, diste, dio, dimos, distais, dieron. Vi, viste, vio, dimos, vistais, vieron. Y finalmente, in a category of its own on the thumb there, is our verb hacer. That is an I verb, an introduction to a category that we will learn some more verbs later on this year in Spanish too. Excelente estudiantes. Viva y prospere con el pretérito. Adios.